I am Anil Kumar sharing with you video on derivative of composite functions which involve exponential and trigonometric functions. The four examples here are we need to determine derivative with respect to x of these functions f of x equals to e to the power of 3x times sine 4x y equals to cube root of x sine square root of x f of x equals to 10 to the power of tan pi x and f of x equals to cos x to the power of sin x. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. So let's do the first one which is a f of x equals to e to the power of 3x times sine of 4x. Now we can apply the product rule to find the derivative of this function. So we can say f dash x is equal to derivative of the first function. Let me write d dx of e to the power of 3x times sine 4x plus first function times derivative of sine 4x. Now, derivative of e to the power of 3x is e to the power of 3x times the derivative of exponent, which is 3x, which will give us 3 times, and we have sine of 4x. I mean, 4x, right? Here we have e to the power of 3x times derivative as cos 4x times derivative of inside term, which is 4. Now, once you have this, you can actually take e to the power of 3x common and what you get here is 3 times uh, sine 4x, I'm sorry, sine, let me rewrite. So we can get e to the power of 3x common and what you get is 3 times sine 4x plus 4 times cos 4x, right? So that becomes the solution of this question. Let's move on and do the next one. The next one here is y is cube root of x times sine square root x. So uh, you could write this as x times sine square root x to the power of 1 over 3, right? Now derivative we can write dy dx as equal to derivative of outside function which is 1 over 3 times inside function which is x times sine square root x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 right to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 times derivative of inside function which is x times sine square root x, correct? Now this gives us 1 over 3, that is minus 2 over 3. So I could write this as 1 over x times sine of square root x minus 2 over 3, that means we could write square here and cube root here, correct? Now here we'll apply the product rule. So derivative of x is 1, we get sine of square root x plus x times derivative of sine square root x, which is cos square root x, again times derivative of inside function, which is uh, 1 over 2 square root x, correct? So that becomes the derivative of the given function. Now, you could combine terms. You could take 2 square root x as common. So you can rewrite this as in the denominator, what we get is 3 times 2. So let me write 6 here. 6 square root x times cube root of x sine square root x whole square. And the numerator, because we took this common, that gets multiplied here. So we get 2 square root x sine square root x plus x 
cos square root x, right? So, so that is what you get. You could simplify it further by taking square root x common, right? So if you take square root x common, you get, we are taking now square root x common. Let me write on the right side. We could write here also. Then square root x cancels and you are left with 2 sine square root x plus square root x cos square root x over, we have cancelled the square root x, we get 3 cube root of x sine square root x whole square. So that becomes the derivative, right? So, so that becomes the derivative. You could simplify this also, so we can write sine square root x plus square root x cos square root x over 2 times 3, right? So you get 3 cube root of x sine square root x whole square. So that is what you get. So what we did was we simplified this, wrote it here. Here we divided by square root x. So when you divide by square root x, they got cancelled. And in this case, we got square root x. Do you see that? So that is how we simplify. Before that, we took common denominator of 2 square root x to get 6 square root x and 2 square root x for sine. Is it clear? So let's move on. Have a good look and do the next question. Now we have to find derivative of the function, which is f of x equals to 10 to the power of tan pi x, right? So the derivative of this function will be same thing, whatever is written, 10 to the power of tan pi x times ln 10, right, times derivative of the exponent. So let me write d dx of tan pi x. So we get here 10 to the power of tan pi x times ln 10 times Derivative of this is pi times secant square pi x. Okay? So that becomes the solution for this one. Now the last question in this series is, let me rewrite this as y equals to cos x to the power of sine x. Now this is a very different question. How do you solve this? The exponent is a trigonometric function. Now, in such questions, what you should do is, you can take natural log both sides. You can take both sides, right? And then solve. So you could write this as ln y equals to ln of cos x to the power of sine x. So you get ln y equals to sine x ln cos x. Now it becomes simpler to find the derivative. So at this stage we can differentiate with respect to x on both sides. So we get 1 over y dy dx equals to, we can apply the product rule. Derivative of sine is cosine, so cos x times ln cos x plus sine x times derivative of ln cos x is 1 over cos x times derivative of cos x which is minus sine x. Okay? So we get dy dx as equals to y times all this. Now uh, we'll keep it as such, we'll not complicate it. We can just write this as cos x ln cos x minus sine square x over cosine x, right? Since the equation doesn't say simplify, we'll kind of leave it like this, replacing y with cos x to the power of sine x, cos x ln cos x minus sine square x over cos x, right? 
So that is how you can find derivative of these functions which were combination of exponential and trigonometric functions and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe my videos. All the best.